Okay, so for part two, we're going to go over kind of a different philosophy for protecting the site. The last one, we turned it into a fortress that applies to most sites in the game. But to an extent, this this actually applies to all of them. Uh, and uh, we'll show you why in a minute in part three. What we're going to go to Secure is a site called we Kids' Room to on the biohazard house. container. As you can see, this is just like a house. Down to ten seconds. People live inside of the boarded up windows. Five um, we're going to break these out. What you'll notice immediately about this site is that it kind of sucks. It's extremely visible from the outside. The other team can literally stand on the roof. They can repel. They can stand on the tree, the tree house, the play structure thing here. They can see in from the ground. They can see in from on top of this little gazebo shit that they can stand on. And they can stand on this ledge. You will be detected if you remain in this area. So Your what would happen is if we tried to play this site like Consulate's Garage, we would reinforce all this. And very easily reinforce all of these walls. The only way in would be through this doorway. Somebody would try and stay alive on the site. They would instantly die because it's impossible to stay alive up here. You'd just get like fragged to hell with grenades or people shooting you with a sniper rifle or you know, whatever. You could try and make a play if you're ballsy, but you'd have to kill like literally the entire team with a SMG while they've got rifles out there. It's probably not a good idea. So instead, we're going to look around and say, okay, this workshop, not nearly as bad. We've got one window over there that we got to deal with, but I could probably, you know, stay in there for a while. They'd have to devote resources to get it. We've got this master bedroom over here. It's pretty defensible. You can hide behind these cabinets. You can see a little bit of the treehouse from here. Deal with people coming this side. And we've got a nice, real safe walk-in closet here that I could also hide in. Um, what I'll show you is the best approach for defending kids room, which is blow out the walls and defend it from off of the site. So I can put a rotation hole here, um, which now allows me to you know, play on this side. I can even go all the way back here and master, depending on how large I make that hole. Hide behind its very safe spots and just cover this one window. Um, I can move up here as soon as I hear that someone's coming in. Just them out. That's a good option. I can open up the wall on this side. Got a little bit of cover with it going down, but got a nice vault hole here. I'm only doing that because I want to conserve ammo for the record. Because I need to break lots of things. And then I can also build the bottom of this part. And now, anybody who's roaming on the first floor, if necessary, can start coming back to site and shoot anybody who's vaulting through that window. You know, like you can check, okay, they didn't vault the window. Now I'm gonna look over the line down over here. And if it's neither of those things, then I can throw this through. Put a smoke up there. And make my way over to kill anybody who's sitting in this corner. So as you can see, with the wall blown in it, you'd have to blow it. That makes it more obvious now that like you can you can sit in workshop and cover this place. Just make as much additional uh, space and additional lines of sight as you can, and that's the best way to defend this site. There are a couple other sites like this that are just if you sit down in it and you're like, holy shit, staying alive in here would be absolutely dreadful. Just make that work for you instead of for the offense. Make it so that when they try and take the site, they can't possibly stay alive inside of it because it's exposed to literally everything on the map. Um, there's no point reinforcing these walls because you're just defending the site from yourself. Like, the only place that they'd, uh, the defense is going to be in here, the defense is going to be over there. If all of those players die, 
you've already lost the round. There's no point bothering with, you know, defending it against a, a location that you will be able to hold for longer than you will be able to hold the site. Yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Um, and we'll go to one last map and kind of integrate some of these principles in if you remain one in of the, zone, I think, you the more complex by sites. You have been spotted by hostiles. And talk about some of the different game types. Okay. Ah! Oh!